Hello, hello, hello. How's everybody doing? H-E-L-L-O. Hello, hello. H-E-L-L-O. Hello, hello. Hey, it's your girl. She nurses. I nurse. It's what I do. But I'm going to bring you that tea too, okay? Y'all know I told y'all I was going to make that my new saying. <laughs> In the beginning. But as you all know, and just in case some of you don't know, I scroll the YouTube streets, mainly my timeline. I just go down and if something catches my eye then and I feel a certain way about it, I speak on it. That's how most of my commentary comes about. Just in case you were wondering, you know, how I find this stuff or What I saw today on my timeline, my YouTube time timeline as I was scrolling, it was a post, it was approximately 18 minutes. It was an 18 minute video that Nosy Ho Live did in regards to, uh, she's basically following up on her DMX coverage that she's doing on him. He's one of her favorite artists. And in case you all do not know who Nosy Ho Live is, this is her channel. Go check her out. I listen to her from time to time. I enjoy her commentary. Uh, she reminds me of Nicole TV, how she just, you know, very raw and uncut with her subscribers. Like she's, she's very open with them, very honest with them. Like, and she's just one of those raw and uncut YouTubers that, you know, her subscribers get to know every aspect of what makes up Nosy Ho Live, you know, of who she is, what she likes, what she hates, who she likes, who she hates, <laughs> all of it. It's never a dull moment on Nosy Ho Live, okay? I enjoy it. So the particular video I'm talking about is yet another follow-up. Uh, she's she covered the DMX story, and then allegedly a nurse that was a part of DMX's healthcare team reached out to Nosy Ho, and I want to say via email or inbox. E either way, she reached out to she or he reached out to nosy ho live and was like hey i just want to clear up a couple of things they're saying that he allegedly overdosed he did not here's the proof here's his lab work um he had c19 he got the c19 jab which was not needed it was this is how you know he passed from a complication of this and not a freaking drug overdose. So this nurse was just allegedly telling her how it all went down because she was there allegedly. Now. Okay. She reached out to you. She felt some type of way about it. Everybody knows what HIPAA is. Everybody should know what HIPAA is by now I believe HIPAA the HIPAA law was created in 1996 but either way I'm going to correct myself you know how I do I'm going to put the correct information on the screen I like to do my videos first and then just add my pictures in, in short videos afterwards so we all know what HIPAA is like I said the only people you should be talking to in regards to your patient is the interdisciplinary team, the ancillary staff, you know what I mean, that are directly involved in his or her or her care. You are going to talk to the doctor about the labs, the vital signs, signs and symptoms, complications they are experiencing, just some some things that bother you, that worry you, and because the nurses Everybody on that team is the patient's advocate. We're going to speak on his or her behalf and we're going to make sure they're getting the best health that they can. That's what we're supposed to be doing anyway. 
like I said, you're going to talk to the doctor about those things. You're going to talk to the nutritionist about whether the patient is tolerating that diet that they were placed on, what foods would be better for your patient. You're going to talk to speech therapist, the occupational therapist, and the physical therapist about what your patient's weaknesses are, what you've noticed. Are are their hands contracted? Are they starting to have foot drop in their feet from just a muscle atrophy, just from their muscle wasting away? What can we do differently? What kind of uh, exercises can you guys incorporate into their care to make sure they're not losing so much muscle? You know, t- try to keep their tone somewhat up so that when they do really recover, they won't have such a hard time rehabilitating and getting their strength back. So as you can see, we're going to talk to housekeeping about, hey, you know, maybe the urinal spilt in the room when you were draining the Foley or things like that. You know, you're going to talk to each department about what they need to know. You know what I mean? Am am I making sense? I hope I am. Just follow me here. Question. Did Nosy Hole Live go too far? What do you guys think? And and I'm going to make myself clear. Don't come for me, mermaids and mermods, okay? I'm just doing my commentary and putting my unbiased spin on it, okay? And I'm going to explain myself. You allegedly received this information from an insider. Who got access access to DMX's records. Okay. You say this person will not be discovered, not be revealed on your end anyway. Okay, that's 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 good too. You're protecting your source. I think all content creators should definitely protect their sources and not out them in any way, especially if they're giving them vital information. But here's here's the um this is where I get hung up at as a as a nurse, as a registered nurse someone who's supposed to be protecting my patient's information. I really wish the nurse would have been, if she wanted, really wanted, he or she, if they really wanted this alleged information to get out into the digital spaces, on the internet, look, let the people know. He was not on drugs. I have proof. You know what I mean? If you would have said, hey, I have solid. Well, then again, nosy hole, she she wants receipts and she is has no shortage of receipts. Let's 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 get that straight. She has receipts. People are sending her receipts all the time, she says. But I just feel like maybe she should have said just for the sake of this healthcare worker and DMX just hey I have proof that DMX did not overdose I have uh someone who was actually there a part of his healthcare team you know that made me believe that he did not overdose and some other things went down you know what I mean? Just something like that, you know, instead of putting the medical record up there. And I mean, contrary to what people want to believe, I mean, aren't there there's there's so many celebrities that have had their records tapped into when they had to go to the hospital by by different nurses and doctors. And those people got fired. I know one hospital, they fired over 20 people just because they access those records. And maybe, you know, he was directly under this nurse's care at one point or another. But there's still, just like there's a paper trail, there's a digital trail. You understand what I'm saying? Especially if the this person went back and 
Now there's in they told the hospital they made them aware of that they they shared your video with with um, the correct people and they've opened an investigation on this nurse healthcare worker whatever they are and there is a such thing as a digital trail so what if this healthcare worker is actually found out what if they track this person down. They have ways of, of of seeing every single person that have accessed his records and they're going to rule them out one by one. They're going to rule them out one by one. And that's what bothers me because no no one wants to lose their job. I know at the end of the day she was doing the right thing in her mind. She felt that she was doing the right thing by him. She wanted his truth to get out there. She wanted his death to not be so dishonorable to be chalked up to drugs or whatever. I, I understand all of that. And even Nosy Ho said, you know, if my family members' medical records got leaked, I would be mad as hell. I would be pissed too. She acknowledged that. She was real about that. She was like, hell, I'd be mad too. Because what happened, also what happened, is one of DMX's family members, allegedly a cousin of his, contacted Nosy Ho and allegedly threatened her via email for speaking on this and showing his medical records and all of that. Y'all can go to this video. Here's the video. Go to the video and check it out and just tell me what you guys think. You know, or, you know, somebody could have just maybe wrote on a piece of paper or something, slipped it to somebody in the family and said, ask for his medical records, request a copy of his medical records. Or make sure you request a copy of his medical records is very important to for the truth. You know, something that, that, that let them know, hey, something going on. Why somebody slip this note in here and leave it on the windowsill telling me I need to request his medical records? You know what I'm saying? You have that right. You can request the medical records and it tells you everything. Every note that was written on him. Every lab that was drawn on him. Every chest x-ray, CT scan. Any medication that was pushed through his IV. Any medication that was given to him by mouth through a tube. Any route that it was given, any medication that was given, it's going to be in his medical records. Request it. Go through it with the fine comb. Get you a healthcare lawyer and go through it. You know, I just feel like it was just a bit much to, to get this man's, allegedly, get this man's medical information Get it to a content creator and put it out there like that. I just I just felt like it, it could have been another way to handle this. And now this thing is this this little fire. This little fire is getting bigger. The flames are getting bigger and bigger and bigger on this. I, I pray that this person is not found out, but who wants someone to care for them that could potentially leak their medical information if if they feel strongly about something that happened in your uh, according to your your care plan you know what i'm saying if there's something we need to know you know i don't know you guys but that's just my take on it as a as a healthcare provider you know i would have said you know make sure you request his medical records and go through every detail of it and be sure about everything i mean just some word is some kind of way you know and the family has a right to be upset they do and nosy ho did like dmx she loved dmx that was why she was so passionate about sharing his story about getting the correct information out there allegedly you know what i mean Tell me what you guys think about this. Could th cause this have been handled another way? 
was this healthcare worker right in what she did trying to you know honor him in death could nosy whole life have brought this information to us a different way what do you guys think about this i really would love to know am i wrong why am i wrong am i right why am i right do you agree do you not agree let me know y'all and yes it's like 3 20 in the morning again y'all know i work the night shift and and i'm still off you know i go back to work tomorrow night but i just cannot sleep all right not right now because this is the time i'm normally up it's my shift so i'll go to sleep here in about an hour or two i may do another video on my nurse crimes channel we'll see but i'm still working on that getting all of that information so it may be a couple of days on that but anyway let's talk down below tell me what y'all think and i will talk to y'all later bye